And actually, I'm always working on many automats at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. And here we enter the local tetrahedron where we have the concerts. There's a little food there, like most tuba players. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this, you can tap. So the sousaphone is quite special in the collection of the orchestra in that it is one of the rare real wind instruments. And here I made an artificial mouth. So the red thing you see here in the, mid, in the middle is the, the mouth, really, the inside of the mouth. So there is a compressor there underneath that the lungs gives wind into this thing. So here we have the original mouthpiece of the sousaphone and inside there is a silicone lips against the mouthpiece and they push, there are control electrical devices that can do <laughs> This one has 48 bells and I'm making a, a second one also. It's a, an instrument that's completely made by me, all, also the sound elements and it is special in that sense that it is a quarter tone instrument. So instead of having 12 notes for an octave, it has 24 notes for an octave. And they are arranged in two different quarter tone rows, so you can, well, you can actually hear it. This one is a completely different category and goes to the 19th century. It's a harmonium that I completely automated, of course. Then Bordonola, there, that's one of the bass instruments of the orchestra. The only problem with this one is that's so big. But I couldn't make it any smaller because that's the physical length it takes to sound the low C. <laughs> and, well, you see, if I want an octave lower, I need another building. <laughs> <laughs> so this instrument is a Thunderwood. In this machine, I collected one of the Rosolo categories. Uh, it's the category of the, what he called nature sounds in one machine. So you find uh, the big thing here is a thunder sheet, imitative of thunder of course. Then you have a storm machine here, a wind machine, an element that makes rain, raindrops drizzling on the roof. Well, the machine there on the back is called Troms because it's composed of many different drums. And that's what I like about machines, it's not so much uh, doing what people can do also and eventually doing it better. I'm not interested in that. I want to go much farther than what people could possibly do. <laughs>